So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taking up the play. Oh, it's taking up the pass to the 26 yard line. Thank <laughs> you. 
focus on attention on the guys that are not successful. That's why the defensive guys have to play hard. He gets to prepare on the defense. Those are teams that are going to be educated for the offense. He's going to be on the defense. He's getting a good start. Those are educated feet. They're very stupid. Look who's focused. Troubles, it's one thing to win, it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. What were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They can, they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you still think you can do anything wrong, whatever you call a run pass. 
pass, it's only going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Bills, they're into the win column now as they move to one and two on the young season. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Arizona, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And, and they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Los Angeles Rams. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Bills are victorious as we say so long from Buffalo. That was so pitiful. I'm in a bad mood right now. I'm warning you to, I'm in a bad mood. Ah! Are you still in the bad mood? No, sir. Good. <laughs> this past talking Eddie. If you ain't got the muscle, don't even try the trussle. Yeah, don't don't hustle the hustlers. Oh, this is fast talking Eddie. Uh baby Angel Baraki. Another disappointment game for the Cardinals. Zero and three. Not even the gentleman's agreement can help these guys. Oh my god. We could give them a thousand football players, so something is fundamentally wrong here. They they just can't score. I just I, I can identify with that. My girlfriend just doesn't want to give me any. Your invisible girlfriend? Well use the other hand. Oh, hey, family hour people here. Cool it. <laughs> All right. Bob Barry, two hundred and twenty four yards, two touchdowns. Don't encourage the kid. He, he might do it right now. If he does, he's going out the door. <laughs> Alright. Bob Barry, a throwback player. 1960s, 1970s. He still has it. He still got it. He still knows how to rock it in a Rolex. <laughs> Quit hitting yourself, Bobby J. Well, when everybody else hits me, why shouldn't I hit myself? You get arrested for abusing yourself. Yeah, you'll be sent to Bellevue, the psychiatric unit. You know, and then they'll give you doors in. And then some big black dude will come in and say, I'm going to get me some. What? <laughs> All right. Let's uh, go into the, the first section of the... We still have time, do we? No. Okay, let's, let's take a break, and then we're going to go into the post-game. Ah. I don't know what to say about the Cardinals. Uh, you remember how we used to take players from the winning team and give them over to the losing team? Yeah, and then everybody started complaining. <laughs> I know. Everybody protested. The unions, the NFL unions, and everybody was in an uproar. And they threatened to take Bobby J and just bow, and bow, bow, ouch. That's what, I'm just expressing what they want to do to you, Bobby J. I'm not abusing you. I'm just showing you. <laughs> yeah, let me show you. No, 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 no. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Good that you get it. Yeah, it's it's good that you comprehend these things. Comprehend my bruises. I don't know how to explain it at the hospital. They keep asking me, are you getting beaten up by somebody? And I, and what do you tell them? Oh, no, not you. Good. You better keep it down. Stick your mouth shut. <laughs> All right, man. What you talking about, son? <laughs> ah, how did I get into this? Oh, what? My buddy, Joseph Toby Bum. What? Oh. oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna ask you how's he doing, but you don't know. You don't know what your own brother's doing. We don't keep in touch as much as. As I would want not to. We don't talk to each other that much. That's terrible. I'm not going to get into a Dr. Phil moment with you. Come on, let's share with me. I ain't sharing with you nothing. We can have a, a foursome. A what? <laughs> a what? You know, like my girlfriend and you and your girlfriend and fast talking Eddie and your woman. That is not a foursome. That's a sixsome. Ooh. 
<laughs> Calm down, shit. Ow. Jeez, calm down. We're not gonna have uh, not even a twosome. My girlfriend wants to hang out with you all, have dinner. Quit saying you have a girlfriend. It's invisible. She doesn't exist. No, that was before. Now, since I practice on an invisible girlfriend, I finally got me a real girl. I doubt that very much. Oh, well, she she likes me. She thinks that I'm, I'm a cutie. She, she's not a transgender. <laughs> like, what, what's the name of that Kardashian woman or man? Bruce Jenner? Yeah, Bruce Jenner. Are you dating Bruce Jenner? Better not be. I'm gonna check. You know, like Crocodile Dundee where he put his hand down there to see if, if there was something down there. I'm not even gonna go there. Me neither. I'm, 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 okay, let's, let's take a break and we're gonna be in the post game and We'll see what happens. I don't know what we can do for the Cardinals.